Hey folks, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. Let's discuss uh, Mars retrograde engaging or conjuncting the south node of the moon. So this is by no means a comprehensive account here. I just want to talk about a few key or important issues. So I said, you know what, let me just jump on here. It's Sunday afternoon on June 10. And I'm like, you know what, let's uh, talk about Mars retrograde and Mars retrograde dancing with the south node of the moon. So let's backtrack for a moment. We know that uh, Uranus entered Taurus in May, on May 15, roughly about one month ago. And with that uh, came the ingress of Mars into Aquarius. And as Uranus and Mars both ingressed into uh, new signs into Taurus and um, Aquarius, they were both squaring up with each other. So these energies, as I've said in previous content, uh, are energies that are very impatient for change with Uranus entering Taurus, Mars entering Aquarius, Mars squaring Uranus. It all kind of is giving us or was giving us a, a preview of the kinds of energies that we can expect to see uh, in the months to come, indeed in the years to come as Uranus uh, will be in Taurus for quite some time, the next seven years. So the point is that uh, what was happening last month on May 15 was kind of giving us a, a preview of what we're gonna kind of be and uh, you know interacting with uh, as we go forward, you know, and that was coinciding, as I've pointed out, with a new moon on that day. So we know that we're definitely, uh, you know, symbolically in the energy of a new cycle in terms of initiating a lot of change. Yeah. So Mars will slow down and will go retrograde in Aquarius on June 26. And we know that because of Mars's a retrograde motion, it will be in Aquarius for quite some time. So this is why this retrograde period is important because it means that Mars will actually be in the sign of Aquarius for quite a protracted period of time. Okay, so the point is that Mars in Aquarius will have time to sort of effect the changes that it wants to put into place. So it will be in Aquarius uh, in aggregate about five five or so months uh, in total, yeah? So that's quite a lot of time for Mars to be in one sign. And that's what is significant about uh, Mars retrograde because of that retrograde motion, it stays in Aquarius for quite some time, yeah? So Mars in Aquarius, as I've said in previous content, it really wants to direct its energy toward broad social issues, issues that concern the collective as a whole. It wants to act to effect social reform and change. So it's an energy that's very intent on progress, collective progress, yeah? So Mars in Aquarius will definitely herald new ways of doing things that are born out of new ideas, ideas that run counter to uh, conventional or status quo thinking. Um, you know, so Mars wants to marshal its energies in service to things like broader social ideals, things like social justice become sort of focalized in our consciousness when Mars sits down in Aquarius for quite some time. So, you know, Mars in Aquarius, as we've been saying, is the energy of the rebel with a cause. You know, it's very intent on pushing for progress and defying what was and defying the usual methods of doing things, of achieving things. So as we look to the collective consciousness and we look to what's happening around us, we can expect to see as Mars goes retrograde, a kind of uh, revisiting of social justice issues, you know, people kind of rehashing and revisiting their anger, especially about uh, social justice issues, you know, disenfranchised people in society and the world who have not been treated with the dignity of being an equal or being regarded an equal in society, in world society. 
you can expect there to be a sort of rehashing of a lot of anger and pain around that, especially as Mars uh, engages the south node of the moon. That anger is going to come out and it may not come out in the most uh, constructive of ways. You know, people the world over who have been historically insecure about their place in society, there's going to be more anger coming out there. So we could definitely be seeing a lot of confrontation around that as people sort of revisit and vent and rehash their social anger. Yeah. So let's talk about the notes. Yeah. The nodal axis has been in Leo and Aquarius and uh, north node in Leo and south node in, in Aquarius. So the south node in Aquarius kind of reminds us to uh, collectively be aware of the shadow aspects of Aquarius, being too detached, hyper rational and abstract in a way that's really kind of devoid of human feeling. So the Leo North Node is providing this kind of antidote in a sense, reminding us to hold on to the values of, of warmth and human feeling, personal warmth and human feeling, states of generosity coming from the heart as a way to kind of counter the extremes of detachment and abstraction that Aquarius can definitely fall into. So Aquarius can sometimes be an energy that is so removed from basic human warmth, human warmth, that it forgets how to be human in a sense. And that's quite ironic, right? Because Aquarius is sort of representative of humanistic values in a sense, but its, it's shadow is that it can operate, as I said, in this hyper-mental, hyper-rational mental sphere that is devoid of feeling and can rationalize actions that ironically are not humanistic. So for example, you know, technologies that do not take into account human values that we hold there, technological progress that doesn't take into account, account human values. So with the shadow of Aquarius, progress becomes a kind of abstraction that can kind of undermine the basic fact of being human. So we care about technological or scientific progress more than we care about human beings. So that's part of the dynamic with the nodal axis in Leo and Aquarius. What happens then when Mars and the South Node kind of join up, right? Mars, as I've said, will be dancing in a conjunction with the south node of the moon from now until the end of July. So Mars, though, is energizing the willfulness of Aquarius. Aquarius can be quite willful. It's a fixed sign. And, you know, with the south node, it's kind of bringing this energy of obstinacy to uh, Aquarius's shadow. Mars is kind of energizing that obstinacy. You know, so Mars at the South Node is turning up the volume on the idea of progress at all costs, you know. So Mars at the Aquarius South Node is going to bring up the question, well, what are we doing as a collective in the name of technological and social progress that is uh, questionable and denies the integrity of being human? You know, which groups of people have been stepped up, stepped on and downtrodden because we are so intent on technological or scientific or cultural progress. Yeah. So who has had to suffer on account of our collective Aquarian shadow? And these people, as I've said, are going to be ventilating their anger now in this in this window of time with Mars in Aquarius at the South Node, a theme that will absolutely be coming up in our consciousness is this business of destructive technologies, technologies that rip a hole in the fabric of society, uh, you know, in that kind of very, that way that is quite characteristic of Mars, you know, uh, technologies that are 
destructive to the human so that's going to be coming up in our collective consciousness and you know there is a a double-edged sword with all of this and a kind of dilemma you know for example there's been so much progress that's been made with the advent of smartphones and the internet but there's so much destructiveness and um, damage that's been done we're not relating to each other as well as we used to yeah because many of us are kind of tranced out in front of a, a smartphone screen you know not to mention how disruptive a lot of wireless technology uh, is to the human body and mind because of frequencies that over bombard our neural circuitry and the body's nervous system so mars at the south node is going to energize uh, collective karmic lessons around how we approach progress uh, on a collective level so we're in a period of time when this karma is coming up to be faced and engaged with and interacted with and interfaced with so this window of time though folks is actually linking into let's say other timelines in which there was uh, destruction on the planet on account of technology so this window of time up until the end of july when mars and the south node are joining up and dancing together um, this window of time is actually feeding into into timelines atlantean timelines so there's a kind of node here a kind of a kind of node and there is on one hand a chance for some of us to create this energetic resolution that will feed into that those timelines of destruction and create this kind of let's say multi-level cross-dimensional energetic healing yeah so in this window of time as mars engages the south node of the moon we are connecting specifically into those timelines of destruction technological disruption and misuse of technologies in a way that uh, was very disru disruptive and um, destructive to who we are as a species some of us though are working on an energetic level to remedy some of those energies so there's a kind of timeline feedback loop that's being activated in this window of time so there is an energetic resolution happening here that pertains to yes those who have been historically disenfranchised and excluded from the global society and from being regarded as a human equal yeah and then this business of destructive technology so we're at a collective juncture where the questions are is technology in keeping with humanistic values what technologies in the name of progress do not really serve humanity and it kind of sounds a bit dramatic but you know if we just say what it is and be honest technology in many ways has been used in a kind of ooh, bio spiritual let's say warfare against humanity as a species many technologies have been very destructive to who we are as a species so these issues are now coming up in in this window of time so that warfare element which mars is so symbolic of is coming up in the collective as a whole during this window until the end of july so those are a few things to think about as mars goes retrograde and engages the south node of the moon subscribe for more discussions like this and definitely do check out all the other astro content on the channel and other content too thank you so much for watching guys and until next time talk soon bye